This is Gary the Herald, and this is my review of Bungo Stray Dogs, episode 23. So, uh, Atsushi is basically confronted by Atigawa in this beginning of this episode, and Atigawa basically doesn't care about the fact that the white whale is going to fall on the town. Uh, his only concern is defeating At- Atsushi, and um, what basically Dazai tells him is that here I'm going to tell you how to distract Atigawa tell him that I want to talk to him and what happens is he throws his communicator to um, Atigawa and tells him that he needs to talk to Dazai um, and that distracts him enough that he falls off the bridge and Atsushi gets to go confront um, Fitzgerald uh, Fitzgerald is basically there waiting and it sounds like he just had a conversation with his wife and he mentions his daughter that she's off to college um, Fitzgerald then com- basically challenges um, Atsushi that he needs to try to race to get the controller to stop this crash from happening um, and of course Atsushi doesn't believe him, so he tries to go race after it, but Fitzgerald has a power that makes him way faster than um, Atsushi. Uh, He gets the controller away from him, and he's explaining that, you know, you need to... The path to success is that you need to understand how your enemies will react. Um, And it goes further... Uh, we find out that his actual power is to use money to enhance his powers and strength. Um, and he easily knocks Atsushi out. And it's almost to the point where he's giving up. But then uh, Atigawa comes in and basically chastises him and says, you know, you can't just give up. You know, you were telling me all this stuff that I don't understand you and all this stuff. But you don't even, like try uh you're basically trying to get justification for living when you don't really need it you've already got what everything that you want and atsushi kind of feels that that's not the case and that uh atigawa has no right to say that because he's looking for um some kind of praise from dazai and that he's done all this horrible things of killing people and that, you know, it's just a clash of ideals between the two. Um, and he's not really concerned about fighting Fitzgerald. He wants to still fight Atsushi. Eventually, Fitzgerald and Atsu- uh, Atigawa fight each other. And he's also getting defeated. Uh, the two try to escape, basically. And they find out that this elevator that they're taking to escape basically corners them into a certain spot. Um, but it's still a clash between each other because they're trying to justify why each of them is living. Basically, he, uh, At- Atigawa says that Atsushi is living in the past and he needs to get over it, while um, Atsushi basically doesn't like him because of how he acts and that he's worried about getting um, acknowledged by Daizai, but like... It's just this clash of people. They just don't like each other and they don't want to deal with each other. But essentially, they need to work together because individually they cannot defeat Fitzgerald. He keeps using his powers and wasting more money. And we find out that eventually that uh, the reason Fitzgerald is doing all this is because he wants to find this book that supposedly will bring back his dead daughter back to life. Um, And the reason he's doing that is because his wife, Zelda, still thinks his daughter is alive. And she's gone senile. She never could accept that the fact that her daughter died. And it looks like as well, Fitzgerald, because of that, he can't deal with it either. At first, um, Atigawa uses his power that's basically like an armor to increase his strength and as as well his defense. And he goes after Fitzgerald, and of course it doesn't work because he just keeps amping up his powers. He also basically tells Atsushi that, you know, 
um, you're not strong enough and you need to basically get over everything like you said before and whatever it is it just made him snap and he uh, unlocked his potential as well his powers and he's turning into more of a were tiger um, and they both try to attack and it doesn't seem to work but at the end of it they kind of have a respect for each other um, Atsushi basically tells Atikawa that you've already gotten Dazai respect whether you know it or not and Atsushi kind of feels that he does need to move on and because of Atigawa, he will try to do that. So they both have, you know, they've accepted each other and they've kind of grown a little bit and now they have to fight Fitzgerald for reals. Um, and luckily it ends at that point. Um, it seems like whenever it's a really good episode like this, it seems like the time flies by so fast that you don't realize that the episode's over by the time you get to it. Um, I'm looking very forward to seeing how they wrap this up if they do and seeing what will become of it. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, like always, comment below, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you next time.